Good morning. Got a packed show today, so let's keep this moving. My mother's always terrified every morning. Welcome to Loserville, where I'm not only a resident, I am the mayor. Um, got the Wicket. That's actually his name, is Wicket from um, Star Wars. The Ewok, and ironically, not ironically, it kind of didn't mean to, but it kind of happened. This is my old hat, because I was wearing brown. It's wicked. Ooh, weirdo. Also got my hangover shirt. And my extra butter special Speary golf shoes that they did with them at Collab. Do not hurt my feet, just tough to wear with stuff. Um, the dope. Thank you, extra butter. They do some good stuff. I don't want whispering. I feel bad, maybe. Uh, zesty sauce. What up? Um, day 68. One day from... The day that we all laugh about. I feel like you don't laugh at the next day at 69 and then you've lost your soul. Or at least like chuckle when you hear the number. Kudos to whoever did that. Um, yeah, today I'm going to do some bangers. A really good bit I think I have. Very morbid. Funny. Don't have to introduce it. I just don't know how to like make it longer and integrative stuff. But school shootings. I owe whatever, right? Always going to be relevant. First of all, we live in a country where school shootings are the worst thing. It's not that bad. Like, some countries, like, you're in a hospital and a bomb might just land through the roof. It's a little bit worse. I mean, no offense. School shootings are horrible. We're not condoning those. I'm just saying. Our freedom's pretty good still. Like, all right. School shootings. I have a couple solutions to how to solve this. And they're not gonna probably, you're not gonna like these. I don't care if you like these, who cares? Um, I mean, I should care if somebody likes it. But um, first of all, when you get a gun, you should have to like pass a test or like a training, right? Like when you get a driver's license, you gotta like parallel park and stuff. So like for a gun thing, you gotta like turn and shoot, draw fast. Turn safety on and off for people, like shit like that. Because I feel like half the shootings, the guy just hates one person, right? They're going in there like, where's that motherfucker? And then they fire the gun for the first time. Like, they spray like 18 people by accident. If we train the people, they'll only kill the asshole they're trying to kill. Problem solved, right? I think that's why. Like, no one's just like, I'm going to kill 19 people today. Like, that specific number, like, the whole room was laughing at me. There's always one or a few people you want to survive, so like, you just can't handle the gun. <laughs> if you like that one, wait till you get to this one. So I think, first of all, why aren't we all wearing bulletproof vests everywhere? The only approval of vests that I have, you know I talk about vests all the time, I'm hating them. That is the only vest that makes sense, right? Protect my vitals. Okay, I'll take a bullet to the arm. It sucks. But this is the one spot. Yes, do not hit me here. Bulletproof vests, do not hit me here, please. Don't mind if I'm cold here. Cold, not here. Keep me warm here. Protect my vitals here. Also, aren't there like bulletproof helmets yet or face masks? Like, uh, like everyone's aiming for the head, right? <laughs> Headshots, zombies, we're all ready for the apocalypse. Anyway, back to the vests. I think every kid, when they start off in preschool or whatever, kindergarten, should start up the same size bulletproof vest. And as you become better, or you do better at school, you get a bigger vest to protect you until, you know, valedictorian has like a full body suit. Because those are the people, as school shooting goes down, we gotta protect those people, right? On the opposite end, if you're a bad kid, your vest gets smaller and smaller. Maybe you just have like a, a glove at some point. I guarantee little Billy's not gonna mop off to the teacher when she brings out the smaller vest and you have less protection. Hey, first one doesn't stop violence, it just stops more people dying. Second one doesn't stop it either, but it rolls with the punches. I like the vest thing. I don't care if you think that's dark, political, whatever, liberal. That's some good shit right there, <laughs> right? So we have, the, we have the vest system, is how we, we judge you. And then by the time you get to college, like, you know, you can 
move your vest to your kid and be like, hey, I'm inheriting this vest that covers you. But don't blow it, because it'll make it smaller. <laughs> they just like cut off a sleeve. Like, you get a whole thing to start, and they just start cutting off pieces, like in Major League. <laughs> what record do we have today? I'm happy today. Um, it's also raining, which means I'll probably bitch out. I love, it's what I call excuses. Raining um, means I won't be, go out or do anything. Take a breath, take a break to breathe. I wrote again today in the wall, and then no, I'm not gonna take a break to breathe. So whatever, just gotta relax. Uh, oh, got trivia, but we trivia, but next stop nachos. All right, and the record. Uh, oh, this is almost famous. This is like a big famous. I don't know. I must have gotten this online as like a deal, probably when I was engaged. No kids, definitely don't worry, ladies, three of you who are not watching. Um, that's probably one of those cool disc sets. Either way, thank you for today. Vests. We are close to the open mics. It's a weather thing for me. I really, last weekend was warm as shit. You saw I threw up everywhere at party. So, like, I'm a weather person. I'm sorry. Maybe I should move south more, but we'll be going out more. Who am I apologizing to every goddamn time? Fuck you. I'm not sorry to anyone. Thank you very much. And to everyone else, thank you very little. I'm off to tear a hole in the fabric of time and space.